I feel like our viewer submitted trivia quizzes are going pretty well. This is about the 20th one of the Quizlet challenge and I feel like the response has been mostly positive. I for one am enjoying the variety. Hopefully you guys are too. And welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 283 of the 365 day trivia road trip. This is Holly and Ian from Nova Scotia, Canada's second quiz that they've sent in for the Quizlet challenge. So I believe they already have their road trip kit already sent to them. If you guys want to get in on this, write some trivia and get one of these cool road trip kits, check out our Facebook page. All the information's over there. But for now, good luck on today's quiz. Question number one, featuring the first appearance of Mickey Mouse, who could be seen whistling away while piloting a boat down a cartoon river, what animated short film from 1928, directed by Walt Disney and Ube Ewerks, was the first animated production to feature synchronized sound? The answer is Steamboat Willie. Question number two. This area, also historically called the kernel of the atom, consists of protons and neutrons. Electrons orbit this region almost like planets around the sun. What makes up more than 99.4% of an atom's mass and was discovered in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford? The answer is the nucleus. Question number three. David Lee Roth was the lead singer of Van Halen until about 1986 when he left to pursue a solo career. Who replaced David Lee Roth as the vocalist for the rock band Van Halen, appearing on albums such as 5150 and For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge? The answer is Sammy Hagar. Question number four, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is one of the most respected centers for scientific research in the world and works to uncover or explain more about the workings of our universe. The headquarters of CERN is housed in what European city located on the France and Switzerland border? The answer is Geneva. Question number five, Cabot Cove, Maine. Seems like a nice place, but beware. Trouble always seems to find this series' main character. First airing in 1984 on NBC, what hugely popular TV series featuring Angela Lansbury as mystery author and crime buster Jessica Fletcher? That show was called Murder, She Wrote. Question number six, symbolizing evil and jealousy, and also known as the foe of mankind, the monstrous demonic character Grendel, from the old Anglo-Saxon epic poem Beowulf, is said to be a descendant of what biblical figure who appears in the book of Genesis? The answer is Cain. Question number seven. If you took chemistry in school or are a fan of Breaking Bad, you've probably seen one of these. Also called a conical flask, what is another name for this wide-based glass or enamel laboratory flask that shares its name with the German chemist who created it? The answer is an Erlenmeyer flask. 
Question number 8. 1967 saw the first American football game we now know as the Super Bowl, known then as the AFL-NFL World Championship game, take place at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. What two teams battled it out for supremacy in this historical event? The answer is the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Question number nine. In Marvel Comics, this gigantic character, created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, is responsible for the destruction of countless worlds. His all-consuming hunger compels him to eat planets to stay alive. What is the name of this character that has often appeared in Fantastic Four comics? It's not Thanos. His name is Galactus. Question number 10. He shares this middle, albeit with a different spelling, name with Harry Potter's Albus Dumbledore. What is the middle name of the American painter Norman Rockwell, whose work for the Saturday Evening Post helped make him an icon of illustration? The answer is Percival. Question number 11. In the context of the movie, this interstellar cruiser was built in 2101, then refitted to act as a towing vehicle in 2116. Crewed by Captain Dallas and Ellen Ripley, among others, what is the name of the ship in Ridley Scott's 1979 horror sci-fi classic, Alien? That ship was called the Nostromo. Question number 12. This man was known almost as much for his views on having pets spayed or neutered as he was for his day job hosting one of the most popular television game shows ever, as well as showing up in an Adam Sandler movie. Who was this TV icon who passed away in 2023 at the age of 99? The answer is Bob Barker. Question number 13. After summoning the 10 plagues of Egypt and leading his people out of slavery, Moses and the Israelites were pursued relentlessly by Pharaoh and his army. Which body of water did Moses lead his people across by parting the waters to escape and ultimately drown out the Pharaoh's army? The answer is the Red Sea. Question number 14. Though many of Earth's largest organisms exist in its vast bodies of water, the largest living organism can actually be found on land in the state of Oregon. What is the largest living organism in the world? What kind of organism is it? The answer is the honey mushroom. Question number 15. Although they do not need light to grow, mushrooms can produce a helpful vitamin when placed under UVB light. Important for our own absorption of calcium and phosphorus, what is the name of this fat-soluble vitamin? The answer is vitamin D. Question number 16. Though weighing under 20 pounds, pugs are known as the largest member of the toy dog group in the American Kennel Club. A popular breed with many funny quirks, what is a group of pugs called?
a group of pugs is known as a grumble of pugs. Question number 17. A calico cat is one that has fur consisting of the colors orange, black, and white. This color pattern is sex-linked, so almost all calico cats in the world are female. However, when a male calico cat is born, he is often referred to by what magical nickname? A male calico is known as a unicorn cat. Question number 18. In The Simpsons, season 8 episode, You Only Move Twice, Homer moves his family to the lovely Cypress Creek so he can take a new job. Things take a turn though when Homer's new boss is revealed to be a James Bond inspired supervillain extorting the leaders of the world. What is the name of his new boss? In that episode, his boss's name is Hank Scorpio. Question number 19, Tina Weymouth, David Byrne, Jerry Harrison, Chris France, and a host of other musicians made up this 1970s and 80s era American rock band. What band made their mark on music history with songs such as Take Me to the River, Life During Wartime, and Once in a Lifetime? That band was called The Talking Heads. And question 20. Jasper Ford is an English writer whose novels take place in a modern but fundamentally different version of our reality. One of his more popular series features a woman who can travel into books and works there for a branch of law enforcement known as Juris Fiction. What is this character's name? I've never heard of this. I had to look it up because I thought it was a typo. The answer is Thursday Next. But that is her name. And that is it for today's trivia quiz. Thank you again to everybody who took the time to watch and play today's trivia. And especially thank you to Holly and Ian from Nova Scotia, Canada for sending in another excellent trivia quiz. This was the second one that they did. The first one was good. The second one was good. Thank you very much. If anybody watching wants to take a crack at writing some trivia, head over to our Facebook page. Look up, we have the, uh, the rules and the guidelines for writing trivia pinned on the front page of our Facebook page. And then you can email me those quizzes to roadtripvia at gmail.com. I'll send you one of the cool road trip kits and we'll both get something out of the deal. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you again, Holly and Ian. Here's question 21 their tiebreaker. Five is right out. According to the instructions for the Holy Hand Grenade in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, as read by Michael Palin's character, how high should the user count before throwing the Holy Hand Grenade toward thy foe? According to the instructions, you should wait three seconds, or count to three, before throwing thy holy hand grenade toward thy foe. Whichever player got closest to three is going to win the point. Congratulations. If it was a tiebreaker and they won the point, they just won the whole game. Congratulations. See you tomorrow.